I remember having received a letter from the search committee asking me if I would be interested in looking at Western New England. They were really looking for a change, but not too much change. So I basically worked off what I thought was my gut impression, that this place had remarkable, absolutely remarkable potential to be a great university. And more importantly, it had the capacity to keep its history, to be a kind place, to be a place that's concerned about its students. I think it's the job of colleges and universities not only to create a welcoming and great environment for students that come in, but they need to really get them prepared for that first job. I mean, that is so key. All the folks before us were working, I do believe, with that same goal. I don't think that's changed at all. I think that's very much a part of this entity. And because there's hardly an inch of the, our 215 acres that I don't think of in a very personal way, I, I think, well, I remember when there was nothing there, or I remember when we put this there and that there, and all the changes. I almost feel like I have touched every single inch of the place. So it, to me, it's a very real place. It's very alive. And it's young enough, even though it's 100 years, it's still agile and it's still flexible. And most of the time, it has confidence in itself. One word that I would use to describe President Caprio would be incredible. Caring. Very caring, very compassionate, and also funny. People don't know that necessarily about him, but he's very funny. Educational institutions like to be sober and serious and, and intellectual and we do, we, you know, we are our minds and that's what it's all about. But people laugh here. Devoted. Dr. Caprio is nothing short of devoted. Committed and approachable, if you don't mind. Hello, Anthony. You know, Maya Angelou once said that people never remember what another person said or what another person did, but they never forget how that person made them feel. And I think this is a special attribute of yours, the way you make me and those around you feel, the warmth, the hospitality, the friendship that you have extended to us all. The one word I would use to describe President Caprio is heart. He cares about the kids, he cares about the faculty, he wants everyone to have a successful experience here. He is really the heart and soul of our campus, but more than that, he uses his heart as a leader and he cares so deeply. In my heart, I believe that Dr. Caprio is still Tony from Providence and he's never forgotten that. And I, I believe that's why he has great empathy and compassion for everyone that comes on this campus. He made a point to smile all the time, shake everybody's hand. He knows your name, even though you probably never met him, but he knows you. He truly cares for all the students here. I've seen that again and again, as well as all of the faculty and staff and all the decisions that he makes. He's just a, a genuine human being. He's fair, honest. He's there for you. You can confide in him. I will say I am not going to miss those late night emails and texts. Uh, where I have to stay up a little later than I normally would. I found that I could be myself with him and just say what was on my mind and be with him as if he were another member of my Italian family. <laughs> Dr. Caprio, I want to thank you for your unwavering support of Demore Library. It's going to be so different without you on campus. But remember, your barcode will always work in Demore Library. Please come visit us often. Okay, you gotta pause on this. I don't wanna. Yeah. I know him so well, so it's with mixed emotions yeah. that, uh, dear Anthony, oh, I wish you well. Godspeed. Cette chanson, c'est sur ma belle. C'est sûr qu'ils pleureront 
J'entends toujours, j'entends ton rire.